Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do just a really informal, kind of fun video. Every time I review products or I'm trying products for the first time, myself and I think pretty much everybody always mentions how things smell. Like, if it's too strong, it's off-putting. If it's really nice, it makes it more inviting. And I'm sure these, you know, these product companies know that it's probably a really big part of their marketing. I thought I would just pick out six of my favorite smelling hair products and share them with you guys. They're also really my favorite products in terms of just how good they work with my hair but I just thought we'd have fun with it. The first one, it's a classic, Cantu. So not just this product, but pretty much all of the Cantu uh, for natural hair products that have this orange labeling to it, have a really uniform candied coconut scent. Thankfully, I find it like a nice sweet coconut. It's that kind of tropical coconut. You know the ones that all those men tweet about, ooh, the girls walk past and they smell really tropical. That's what this smells like. Um, ever since I used the coconut curling cream in around 2015, everyone that walked into my office was like, who smells like coconuts? Who smells like coconuts? You smell really good. Lots and lots of compliments on it. I think it smells phenomenal. Love it for twist outs, works really well. This um, moisturizing curl activator cream, I think I also tried this in 2015, maybe 2016, but it is brilliant. Brilliant from the thickness just to how it defines my hair keeps it moisturized and of course the scent of it It's not like a sickly scent. It is sweet, but it doesn't smell like it's for kids um, It is really a young inspiring scent, but in no way is it for kids It just makes you smell like a nice tropical lady, you know, I love it so this next one was actually a purchase purely because of my self-heating conditioner cap. If you remember, my first impression of that is it smelled so, so good. So I went on the hunt for the conditioner. It's by L'Oreal. It's the L'Oreal Dream Length Savior Mask. This is a protein loaded conditioner. It does have silicones in it though, but we'll talk about it in another video. Oh my gosh, this smells insane. Insane. Oh my gosh. I tell you what, L'Oreal does some of the best fragrances because this and their um, Curls Mousse smells expensive, okay? If you just wanna smell like luxury, like you've just come out of the salon, you know, this is the one. And of course, it's drugstore, it's really affordable. This was about £5.50 for this jar. Um, and yeah, it's a protein conditioner, works really, really well, defines my hair, moisturizes and it smells so good. It's very delicate. It's floral. It's kind of like freesia, very delicate, soft smelling and expensive. Like it just smells like well taken care of hair. You know what I'm saying? Like Cantu smells like, oh, where in the Caribbean did you go? This smells like, oh, who did your hair? And what I mean by delicate is it's not super overpowering. It won't be one of those walk into the office ones, but when someone's sitting next to you, often I've had people sit next to me and they go, oh, you smell nice. And I know they're talking about this. Like it's got nothing to do with any perfumes that I'm wearing, it's this. So it's that kind of, oh, she just smells good. She smells good. So another classic, another long time favorite, as I am. I've got both the original line here and the Long and Lux line here. Oh my God, this has got your orange blossoms, your tangerines. It complements fragrances like Chanel and Elie Saab really, really well. It's another kind of expensive smelling type product. They're very warming. All of that orange, think of like mulled wine with lots of oranges in it. Very, very deep, but not overpowering, just warm. Even down to the packaging has that kind of warmth to it. So everything just packages and complements each other really, really well. Absolutely love the fragrance of this. The Long and Lux line smells like Starburst. It smells like Starburst. It smells just like the packaging looks. Very fruity. I think passion fruit is the, um, yeah, pomegranate and passion fruit is the fragrance. It smells like that. 
but it also kind of smells slightly candied. So think of those red Starbursts, that's exactly what it smells like. I've been using the co-wash ever since I got this. I was kindly gifted this one. Oh my goodness, so, so soft works brilliantly and I would argue that it has a little bit more slip than the original As I Am Coconut Co-Wash. This has way more slip so I can detangle with it, cleanses my hair, smells incredible the entire line but they just smell so good and inviting that you want to use it and the actual content of the product backs it up. As I Am works so so well for me. Garnier Fructis Damage Repairing Treat One Minute Hair Mask and this is the one with papaya extract wow wow because i saw reviews about it and everyone said like this smells really really good so and because this was uh, the the one for damaged hair that's obviously the one that i wanted to go for the most i don't think i have anything else in my product stash or have ever tried anything that's got papaya in it but if it smells like this well i certainly will affordable affordable i think it's about three dollars fifty for this size but actually it's lasted me i have mid-length hair and i've only used one tub so far you can still see i've got half left this has incredible slip super defining i've used it as the conditioner like as a mask left it on for more than a minute though very 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 defining and super moisturizing. I used it to finger coil my hair. If you follow me on Instagram, you should do, at Zig Bezik. Um, you would have seen what my finger coils look like. I used this to do so. They came out so defined, so frizz free, and super shiny and moisturized. This stuff is incredible. Also super natural, doesn't have any silicones, parabens, or any nasty products in it. I'm so pleased that everything I've gone through so far is really affordable actually and really accessible. Um, and it's also vegan. It smells like genuine papayas to me, very fruity, very tangy, but nice. It's like tangy sweet. African Pride's Shea Moisture Moisture Intense Buttery Cream. I do not even know how to describe this. It was so affordable by the way, £3.50. Now, this smells <laughs> A lot more manufactured, like I'm not gonna lie to you, it doesn't smell like, whereas the others of course they probably all are, but it doesn't smell like something's been added to it naturally, it smells like it's been made up. But because of that, it actually just smells like its own fragrance. It smells like a perfume of its own. It smells sweet, like the top layer of it is like sugar, and then underneath it's kind of musky. It smells very inviting, it smells very put together. It smells about their business. It smells like love, but I work nine to five. That's how it smells. It smells like my hair is done. My hair is moisturized. I know what I'm doing. Okay, do your homework. I use it more as like a sealant because it has got silicones in it as the cream in the lock method. So this would be like my actual shea butter, the last thing that I use. But because of that, it means it's the first thing that you smell on me. And again, it's one that I get a lot of compliments on. Last but not least, people, I'm just gonna have to take you back in time. I'm just gonna have to bring you some nostalgia. It is none other than Luster's Pink. This is the one for natural hair. I think they even have an, uh, another line because I, I used this quite a long time ago. Um, so this is the Luster's Pink Shea Butter Coconut Oil Sulfate Free Shampoo and the Moisturizing and Silkening Conditioner um, Silicone Free. So a lot more for natural hair but still has that pink oil smell that just brings you back to the 90s and your childhood and that's how I would moisturize my relaxed hair. It's another one that isn't like a natural scent, it's its own scent but I'm so so pleased that Lustres has actually kept it that way. I think that's part of, as I say, the marketing of the brand. They could have easily said, okay, we're, we're releasing a natural hairline, so let's come up with a coconut fragrance because that's what a lot of natural lines have. No, they were like, let's keep this uniform, let's keep our classic fragrance because people know and recognize Lustre's Pink from their smell, let alone the iconic pink packaging. 
even though this is sulfate free, I do feel it's more of a clarifying shampoo. It does really, really lather up, cleanses, but you do get that kind of squeaky clean feeling. But you know, using this along with your pre-poos and your treatments and everything works perfectly fine. It also has quite a lot of slip for a shampoo, so it works really well to detangle or pre-detangle my hair. Same thing with the conditioner lots and lots and lots of slip works really well at detangling and both of them again are really affordable and did you know that lusters is a black owned business and it's been going for 70 years seven zero years go on luster it had a kind of beginning notes of sweetness but most of it just kind of smells like a salon it smells like family it smells like 90s any age can use it, very recognizable scent. It just smells like a press and curl, you know? It's nice to have those kind of cool memories come back just from scent. And it's nice as well, once I think I find my true staples and I'll use them forever, like, that's what I'm gonna smell like, you know? That's what my kids are gonna recognize that I smell like and that kind of thing. So I'd love to know what your favorite smelling hair products are in the comments down below and why. God. There's just so many smells, so little hair. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next video. Bye.